Today we'll be using a maintenance work order form as an example. Here we have some client details, order details, work required with an image and description, as well as a signature at the end. After you finish building your form in the form builder, save the form. You'll be directed to your form summary page, which includes a list of your destinations. Find your PDF or Word destination and click the Edit button. This destination currently sends a default PDF report to this email address. Step 2 allows you to customize your PDF file. If you'd like to send a report that contains your own branding or is formatted like your original paper form, this is possible by creating a custom template. You can either download a sample template to edit or upload one of your own. Today we'll be creating our own custom template. Here we have a Word document with our original maintenance work order form. Templates are created in Word and will populate either a PDF file or a Word document. If your original form is in a PDF format, this will need to be converted to a Word document to work as a template. Now, we'd like our device users to be able to submit the mobile form we created and their answers to automatically populate in the blank spaces when the PDF file is created. We'd also like the image they've submitted and the description of the issue to appear in the final report. To do this, we'll need to add placeholders to the template. A shortcut to these can be found in step 2, called Customize PDF File. Click the Show Me Placeholders I Can Use in This File Name button and you'll see a list of placeholders associated with the latest saved version of your form. The list also includes metadata placeholders, such as the submission ID and time the form was submitted. Under this, you'll see the placeholders specific to your form version. This list is usually used to populate custom file names, however can also be copied into your template with some minor edits. A tip is to first copy and paste these into an Excel spreadsheet where you can remove the zero in square brackets from the placeholders. The zeros are for file name placeholders and will need to be removed for Word templates. You can bulk find and remove these by using the shortcut Shift-Command-H on Mac and Control-H on Windows. Copy and paste the placeholders into your Word document. Using Excel also allows for quicker pasting if you're using a table. You can also use a single placeholder multiple times in your template, like we did here with the date issued placeholder. Image fields and signature fields will be displayed in full resolution, so we'll need to customize the size of the images to make them smaller. Add a pipe at the end of the identifier and define the size of your image. In this case, we'll make the image 400 by 400 and the signature 120 by 120. We can also change the font size and color of the placeholder. Let's underline the date placeholder and make it bold in this case. We'll make a couple of other edits and then save our Word document. Now head back to your destination settings. Click on Upload your template and select the Word file we just saved. Make sure to keep the Use Advanced Template Options setting checked. Now scroll down and click Update Destination. When a device submits their next form, the associated email will receive a PDF report that was generated using your custom template. You can also generate a PDF using the PDF preview in your Forms Device Magic database here. This is the final result. You may need to update your mobile form at some point, for example, changing the wording of a question or adding a brand new one. Let's go ahead and make a change to one of our question labels. 
As you can see, the questions identifier has updated. This will also update the identifier in the placeholders list when the form is saved. After saving the form, head to your destination settings. Download the custom template that is currently uploaded. Click on the Show Me Placeholders button and find the new placeholder. Copy this new placeholder from the destination and replace the old one in your template. Remember to remove any zeros in square brackets from the placeholder and edit the formatting. Save the word template and upload it to the destination again. Then click Update Destination to save.